Okay, once you have logged in, look on the menu on the left hand side here and you'll see a button called products. Now if you highlight products, just click the button that says all products and then this will load uh, a list of all the products in your website. So just ignore all the stuff at the top here um, and let's look at the first product in the list here. So as you can see each one has a little thumbnail um, and if you wanted to change the, the, the product image you just click on edit and then this will load up the product details um, for that product. So as you can see on the right hand side, uh, the top right hand side here, uh, you have the product image. So if you wanted to change this product image, um, you just uh, click remove product image and that will remove the product image. So now we need to set a new set the product image again. So you can either use a current image, so this is the previous image here, um, or you can upload a new one. To upload a new one you click on upload files and you can select the file from your computer. So this will bring up um, a list of things here. So let's just, we've just got a, a, a basic image here. It's not nothing to do with your products but just to give you an example. Um, so that will then upload the product <coughs> image to the product. Just give that a second and you set the product image and then now on the front end it'll show this 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 image against the product so again rem just click the remove product image set product image and then just assign a product image now in here you can here on the right hand side you can actually see how big images are this is 135 by 135 pixels this is very 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 small so i would upload whatever image you can um, anything from 500 pixels wide and up and you know this will give you much better looking images um, on the shop.